Welcome to Google I.O. Google is making deep investments to help you leverage the largest mobile platform on the planet, the most popular web browser, vast cloud services, hundreds of open source projects, and breakthroughs in AI. We're giving you access to our large language models, the ones powering so many of Google's products. And starting today, we're rolling out new features in Maker Suite so you can create synthetic data and easily customize safety settings. So sign up now to try out Maker Suite and the Palm API at g.co palm. StudioBot is a tightly integrated AI powered helper in Android Studio designed to make you more productive. We have added entry points to StudioBot and key points in the IDE, both in the code editor and in the logs. So for instance, earlier today, I was debugging a problem in my Android manifest. I can open up LogCat, right-click on a crash, and send it to StudioBot. And just press Submit. And there we go. StudioBot explains the crash, and it knows that I forgot to add the internet permission. And it also gives me a quick action to add the missing line of code to my manifest, which I can fix in one click. Tablets, foldables, and flippables provide a huge opportunity to reach premium consumers. Our hardware partners are all in with flippable and foldable devices from Samsung, Motorola, and Oppo. Google is all in. We're optimizing the Android OS for large screens, and we're tuning over 50 of Google's own apps to look great on these devices. Now is a great time to jump on Wear OS, and as developers, here are the two big updates you should take advantage of. First, watch faces. They're a beautiful way to engage with your users, and with Wear OS 4, it's easier to create customizable and power-efficient ones. And second, we're releasing new APIs to bring rich animations to tiles, one of the fastest ways to get things done or launch an app on Wear OS. We're excited to highlight Web GPU. It's a new API that unlocks the power of GPU hardware and makes the web AI ready. After all, the web is already on phones, desktops, laptops. Web GPU just gives you access to all of that local compute. So you can save money, increase speed, and build privacy-preserving features. So we've been working in the WebDX community group with browser vendors like Apple, Mozilla, Microsoft, framework providers like Angular, Nuxt, Next.js, to establish a stable and predictable view of the web. And it's called Baseline. Baseline captures the evergreen set of features that are supported across browsers, and it finally takes the guesswork out of, can I actually use this in my app or not? And we're really excited to announce and show you the work that we've been doing with MediaPipe, where we've taken common problems that we as developers needed to solve. Now, some are relatively simple, like image or text classification, and some are much more complex, like facial landmarks or hand poses. But the goal was to encapsulate them all into a single modular solution that you can drop into your apps or your sites. And all of this is available for you to use today, including nine new solution types. We are transforming cloud development with Duet AI, a new generative AI-powered collaborator that acts as your expert pair programmer. We believe Duet AI fundamentally changes how developers of all skill levels can build cloud applications. It provides collaborations where you need it, within Cloud Console, Chat, and your IDE. With Duet AI, you will also have the power to not just call Google-trained models, but also custom code models trained directly on your code. So I head over to Cloud Workstation, my secure, fully managed development environment, which is now available in GA. And all I have to do is to create a function and add a comment. And now, thanks to Duet AI, I can see a code snippet for using Cloud Translation API is suggested to me immediately. If you want to give it a go, sign up for Duet AI today by joining our trusted tester program. This is your moment. Go create!